what it do you do. <laughs> today's video i want to talk about the best sci-fi movies to check out Now, I'm going to give you some more movies that's related to sci-fi, but they're not sci-fi. But this overall video is just going to be about good, eye-opening sci-fi movies to watch. Now, if you don't know, sci-fi stands for science fiction, um, which... <laughs> They say fiction is fake, and they say nonfiction is real, but everything that the oppressor has given you, you are supposed to flip it around. So really, fiction is real, and nonfiction is fake. It is probably scrambled up and mixed all up in between anyway. So anyway, right? For people that are serious, that really, that's, that's really into this information, that's really into this knowledge, people that's really having a spiritual awakening. But you can't really visualize the stuff that I'm talking about or that other people are talking about. You can't really visualize you know what's going on. You can't really comprehend what's going on. Then you got some people that are auditory learners. They learn from audio. You got some people that are visual learners. They learn from seeing visual images. You got some people that are both. You see what I'm saying? So, um, I'm going to give you some good movies to watch. This is only if you're serious about really seeing through the illusion, right? I don't want to hear all that bullshit. Movies are fake and all that shit. If you can really decipher movies and decode movies and see through the illusions, check out these movies that I'm about to tell you. Go get a pen and a paper, piece of paper, write this stuff down. <clears throat> Check out They Live. They Live. T H E Y space L I V E. Parentheses 1988. So They Live came out in 1988. That was a great movie, a great science fiction movie. And just the overall basis, I'm not going to talk about it because I could be talking about it forever. The overall basis of They Live is pretty much this guy, Rowdy, Rowdy Piper from WWF, WWE. He used to wear the kilt, the Scottish guy with the blonde hair. Rowdy, Rowdy Piper, his name was Nada in the movie. And also Keith David, Keith David playing lottery ticket, the ball guy. Who gave Bow Wow a hundred thousand dollars and a lot of ticket Keith David he played in this movie They Live as well. So anyway, basically the Roddy Bradley Piper just a hard working man trying to, you know, earn a living doing construction job and he goes to uh, California, I think. He goes to California and um something like that and um he come across these crates of glasses and you know he ended up putting the glasses on and when he put the glasses on he could see what the image is really showing you. And then when you take the glasses off, it shows you the false image. So go check that movie out, that shit deep. Um, Spellbinder, check that out. S-P-E-L-L-B-I-N-D-E-R. Parentheses, 1988. This movie came out in 1988 as well. Check out Spellbinder. It's a movie talking about blood sacrifices. The shit is deep. Go check it out. I'm not going to really go that much deep into all the movies because, yeah, I, you know, I don't want to be talking that long and confuse you. Just write this stuff down. Spellbinder. It's about blood sacrifices. Um, what's another one? Check out Minority Report. 
Check out Artificial Intelligence. Check out Ender's Game. Um, Naked Lunch. That's a good one. Watch that only if you got a strong stomach. And once you watch that movie, everything's going to change in your reality. Trust me. Check out Naked Lunch. Um, um, that's another one. I am number four. That's a good one. Check out Superman. They got some hints in that. Uh, that's like sci-fi still. Yeah, that's sci-fi technically. Um, check out Dark City. That's a good movie. Talk about how they manipulating people's pineal gland. Um, check out all the vampire movies. Check out Aaliyah. A vampire movie, Akasha. Uh, that was a great fucking movie. I gotta watch that again. Check out Stephen King movies, Cool Joe. Sometimes they always come back. Pet Cemetery, Pet Cemetery 2. I think they just did Pet Cemetery 3 or some shit like that. Um, check out Leprechaun in the Hood. Oh, check out all that shit. All that shit is sci fi. They got a hint to it. I'm telling you, only watch this shit if you're serious. If you really want to see the illusion, if you're not serious, go over there. <laughs> but check out these movies. If you don't got time to check them out all here and there, check out one of the movies I said. But check out Day Live. That's a good movie to start off with. That's why I picked that movie as number one to start with. Day Live, 1988. That's a great fucking movie. I'm telling you. And to rent that movie, like $15 fucking dollars. <laughs> Because that's how good that movie is. I'm telling you, wake the damn up. More videos coming soon.